Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for my reading of Liverpool Liver Birds, Liverpool Liver Birds. This is for everyone. It is for curious folk of all ages. So whether you're young or young at heart, this book is for you. It's about the Liver Birds, which are mythical creatures which live in the city of Liverpool, where I live too. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the first page to you. Liverpool liver birds, up in the sky. From where have we flown and to where will we fly? Gleaming and glinting, two giants you stand, reflecting your people, connecting your land. And if you look really carefully there, you can see a really old tree. That's called the Allerton Oak, and it's in a park called Colderstones Park. You can still go and visit it today. It's even older than me. It's over a thousand years old. Mm. Okay, on to the next page. Liverpool liver birds up on your domes. Can you see them there in the distance? on the top of the liver building. Liverpool liver birds up on your domes. Are those your outposts or are they your homes? Both may be true as we come and we go while the breath of the Mersey out it ebbs in it flows. The Mersey is the name of the river, the River Mersey that runs through Liverpool. And all of these creatures that you can see here are all creatures that have actually uh, being found living in the uh, in the river. So here, for example, you have a, a bottlenose dolphin, an otter, and even a minky whale. Pretty amazing. Okay. Liver birds, how did they come to be? Well, hopefully you can see these different kinds of birds. Liverpool liver birds, how were you hatched? Some say you're eagles, non-believers mismatched. Cormorants, herons, your heritage broad. You mix when you match, whether home or abroad. Mm. And on the other side of the page, you have, that's called a house martin. And all the birds on these, the, the left-hand side of my pages, are birds that you can see in, around, in and around the parks of Liverpool. And probably where you live too. Okay. Okay. Next page. Liverpool liver birds. What have you seen? Hustling and bustling in boom times and lean. After each sunset, in dark times below. Your bright sparks of music and poetry glow. Now Liverpool is quite famous for a band called the Beatles and you can see these four men who are the Beatles there. You can also see a lady called Lita Rosa and she was the first person from Liverpool to have a number one hit with a song called How Much Is That Doggy In The Window? And if you look very carefully there is a doggy in a window somewhere. There it is, up there, by the Duke of Wellington. Okay. Liverpool liver birds, what have you heard? Comedy, tragedy, life in each word. Passions whipped up by the winds and the seas. Passengers, voyagers, both chained and free. And in this illustration, you can see uh, a man called Ken Dodd, who was a very famous comedian from Liverpool. Um, and also there are some other aspects of Liverpool, which you can see in there. And if you're not sure, or if you're intrigued, in the back of my book, I have made a list of all the people and the objects that I have included in my illustrations.
There you go. Oh, I like this one. This is about a very famous dish, a, a meal called Scouse, from which you get the name Scousers. And Scousers is a name that sometimes people call people that come from Liverpool. But Liverpool uh, has been home to people from around the world for many, many years. Liverpool liver birds, who do you guide? Welsh, Irish, Chinese, with Merseyside pride. Polish, Somali, the list never ends. Under your wings, the log scouse richly blends. And the stew known as scouse, I have the ingredients all the way down here. And some of the places that I mentioned before, these are the national birds of those places. So here you have the, uh, the crane uh, from China, which is the Chinese national bird. And you also have the Somali ostrich, which is quite a cool looking bird there. Okay. Liverpool liver birds, why do you stay? You look out for the ships as they each make their way through the storms in the drink, but you also look in as the pubs open doors, put your heads in a spin. And here you can see the Royal Research Ship, Sir David Attenborough, which is currently being built in the Camel Laird shipyard in Birkenhead. Uh, and also you have um, one of the ferries that goes across the Mersey, which goes across the river, which has been painted really brightly uh, with a design made by Sir Peter Blake, who is a famous artist. There he is there. Oh, look at all these different liver birds. They're all liver birds, but they all look very different. Liverpool liver birds, you're not alone. When you walk, sail or fly, as your fledglings are known to be found at the Blue Coat, St Luke's and beyond. Embodied in actions, your icon lives on. So you can go on a bit of a liver bird spotting uh, mission around the city of Liverpool if you like. This one can be found at the Blue Coat Chambers, which is an art centre now. This one can be seen in the stained glass of uh, the bombed out church, St Luke's Church at the top of Bold Street. And this one you can see at the top of the Mersey Chambers building, which is next to the um, Liverpool Parish Church. Really cool. Liverpool liver birds, what do you feel? Belief and potential where myths become real. A people of passion whose purpose won't rest. Liverpool's flying, this city, your nest. And here you can see some of the birds that were painted by a man called John James Audubon, uh, a guy who came from America um, over a hundred years ago to try and sell his book and try and get his book printed. And some of these birds are what he drew. Um, you can see a copy of his book in the Central Library in Liverpool. It's a massive book and it's really amazing to see it. Okay. And the final page. You see here there are lots of birds, they all look different, but they're all flying together and all working together and they make a beautiful picture when they all work as one. Liverpool liver birds, we are all one. We are blessed with fine feathers and to shine like the sun. We are unified beings of yesterday's highs who can aim for wise futures. So now let us rise. And that is the end of the book. So we've uh, met our liver birds, Bella and Bertie. Here they are on the front cover and the back cover, on the front cover and the back cover. I hope you've enjoyed that and I look forward to meeting you again in our next video. Thanks very much.